EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to bring you this showcase of the best young players in the world of golf. From Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida, it's opening round coverage of the event known as Q School. This is gonna be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of storylines to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. We've got a tie at the top at three under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, we're gonna get off to a hot start and maybe make an early move up the AM leaderboard. Okay, that's a good one to start safely in the fairway to get the tournament underway. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Nota Begay the third. 144 left to the hole, pin sitting on the right. be into the front right bunker so Arnie's core showing its teeth already looking to splash this softly onto the green That is a good looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. Well done. That is in for a par here at the first. And he'll stay at level par. Back to the action here at the second and a par three. Frank, it's 231 yards. What are we looking at? Well, somehow, if you can hit it sky high, that's the best shot to hit in there. This green sometimes gets brick hard, and of course, it all slopes to the left. Oh my goodness, that is way to the right. He'll have to go full copper field here. Magic to make his par. In for par here at the second. And he'll stay right where he is. This is a good scenic par four, the third here at Bay Hill. That huge leg on the left, it's obvious. You want to keep it away from that. If you do, you'll have a short iron in and a chance to make a three.
Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Uh, and that's well done right around the bend in the fairway. Took the lake out of play and should leave a straightforward look from there. This could be good. No, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Okay, nicely done. That's in for Bodie here at three. Slurter alongside Frank Navalo back at the fourth. It's the first par five on the golf course, Frank. The litmus test is that first bunker on the left side. If you can get it past that, you've hit it over 330 yards. Yeah, that was an excellent job of gauging that left to right wind. Managed to find the center of the fairway. Now from just under 300 yards, a second from the fairway at the par five. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in a really good position here on the par five. Straightforward pitch shot here, 35 yards. Now this for birdie. And I don't think he'll want to deviate from a straight in read, just a little uphill. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four, and he'll remain at one under par. We move to the tee now at the 390-yard par four fifth here at Bay Hill. Don't let that distance fool you. Bunkers on both sides of the fairway and a well-protected green make par a good score here.
This is why you practice these shots from under 100 yards. You've bombed your drive. Now it's time for the touch shot. Zip one in there close. This could be a good one. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there? But that is an excellent approach shot. Yes, a good read. It's a birdie here at five. Frank, talk to us about the sixth hole. I don't want to. <laughs> it's too difficult. Why not? It's too hard. It's too difficult. John Daly made 18. But that's not such a bad score. If you break it down, that's... Break it down for one hole? It broke him down. And a, and a eagle. <laughs> Yep, very good shot right there. Was able to cover that lake with ease and into the fairway here at six. Uh, that's good technique, and that is right around five feet. Not too bad. From four feet for birdie. Ah, yeah, well done. It's back-to-back -back birdies here on this front side. Frank, the good news as you come to the seventh after that beast of a par five is that it's just under 200 yards and there's no water. Yeah, it's not as long as the second, but it's just as demanding. Very narrow entry into this green. Didn't check, Frank. 
Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. This will be a five foot putt here. Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And he'll stay at minus three. Getting ready to tee off here at the eighth. Frank, this hole has it all. Dog leg, bunkers, water. How do you successfully navigate it? It's such a pretty looking hole, Rich. That bunker down the left just sort of pops out and you see it. So you can either work it off that to the right, either that or just aim a little right, but be careful of those trees on the right. This up the right side off the tee. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Now, note to his second from the fairway. 148 yards left to the hole. Pin sitting on the left half of the green. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Okay, that in for par here at the eight. And he'll remain right where he is. Heading back toward the famous lodge at Bay Hill. This is the ninth hole. Straightforward par four, but a good one. Two good shots here. You'll be happy to make the par. will do just fine. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot.
just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And that's going to be a three under 33 on this front side. We start the back side at Bay Hill with a par four, 400 yard dog leg to the right. Two bunkers through the fairway and one on the right. Accuracy off the tee is critical. Oh, I like that tee shot. One extra bounce. That's what kicked it into the first cut. So now from just into that first cut, he'll ready his approach to this par four. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Ah, that's the way to start the backside. A perfect read. It's a birdie at number 10. Frank, 440 yard par for 11th. You see that number on the card, you think driver. Maybe not. Why? Yeah, it's imperative you hit the fairway here, Rich. Uh, water obviously in play left. Two bunkers on the right. This is a second shot hole. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. 105 yards to the front, 112 to the hole, coming off a birdie on the previous, looking for two in a row. Right at it with the sand wedge, coming in just over the pin. Rich, is that eight or nine feet? I don't know that bad, but it is a great approach shot. Disappointing. So that rushed in for par here at 11, and he'll remain at four under. Now to the par five 12. Frank, how good of a scoring opportunity is this? Well, anytime you get a par five at Bay Hill, got to take advantage of it. Frank, the par fives here at Bay Hill so important. What's the 12th flight? 570 odd yards. Uh, tee it high, let it fly.
He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. That was unlucky too. If that ball had just slowed down, it could have been an eagle putt. Just kept going. Oh, just over the back. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. Oh, yes. How do pace to get up that slope? It is in for a birdie. Par 4 13th now. This is a hole, Frank, that requires some smart club selection. What are the options here? Yeah, very sneaky par 4. That bunker on the right is 250 yards or so off the tee. So you've either got a choice to play short of that or sneak it down the end, which is about 300 yards. But if you try and be bold here and miss the fairway, that second shot, evil. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Now, no to his second from the fairway. 102 gets him to the hole. Would not surprise me a bit if he were to stick this one close. There goes the sand wedge, and this is trouble. Ooh. And now a putt from 24 feet away. Good speed there. That'll leave just a couple of feet. Okay, that one finished off. It is a bogey here at unlucky number 13. And that's going to drop him back to four under par. Well, as they say on tour, Bay Hill has a good set of par threes. Here's the 14th. It's 215 yards. There are those bunkers left and long. Stay out of those, and you have a good chance to put three down on the card. Now from the bunker. Just a little splash out on this par three.
Boy, that was on an aggressive line. Couldn't quite get it to stop, and that will be left for par. Mm, that slides by to the right. Just never had that on target. Safely in, new to bogey here at 14. And he's gonna slide backwards to three under par. Now at the 15th, big dog leg right here. What's the best way to go, Frank? Really down the left side. Uh, it's very tempting to try and hit it across that bunker, but not only do you have to carry the bunker, you've also got to carry those little shrubs down the right side. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Yeah, good putt. That's in for par here at 15. And he'll stay right where he is. We enter the final stretch with a 511-yard par 5, 16th tree and bunker trouble to the right. OB to the left is reachable in two, but water in front of the green will punish the miss hits. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Okay, job well done, Frank. You know when you play this hole, you're playing it like a par four, even though it's a par five. You need to be home in two. You certainly do, Rich. This hole isn't as long as some par fives, but when you consider water and play here, water and play at 17 and 18, this is a key shot. Oh. Well played there, a birdie here at 16. And he'll get it now to four under par. Just two shots off the lead. 
Frank, this is a great hole through the years to watch when the pressure is ratcheted up deep into a round. That is all you want at more than 220 yards. Play slightly shorter because it's downhill. The bunker's on the left in play. The, even the bunker short ride and of course the water, if you just miss it a bit, that's in play. And the green shapes away from you. This has to be the most difficult par three on the golf course. And this is a common result. The 17th is a tough green to hit, and that will make its way into the back bunker. Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe like to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Yeah, that's good putt. It is in for par here at 17. And he'll remain right where he is. Finishing hole at Bay Hill. Frank, how good is this 18? Well, it's good because it makes you scratch your head. If you look at your score, your own personal score, and then fast forward, you've made a big mistake. Looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Yeah, he's looking at 116 yards to the front of the green, 123 to the hole, and the pin, it's in the front portion of the green. This is looking really good. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So, birdie chance. He has a 12-footer here. Yeah, that's a good putt there. It's a birdie at 18. This will be an opening round, 67 on the scorecard. Well done. These four days are going to be...